Why not just shoot him? Sure, I could do that. Just cut the damn red wire and let him die. But then who's gonna explain to the scientists over at the facility why their fancy synthetic android is nothing more than a lifeless doll? See, I need him intact so that they can poke and prod and do whatever it is sciencey types do to their guinea pigs. And here's your proof oh right God. there. There's two of them. That's right. Two jacks, one synth. Well, you're certainly as ugly as he is. But short of shooting you dead, I don't suppose you have any proof. He's right. I heard the Institute makes exact replicas. Right down to the T. You kidding me? Jesus. You shouldn't have come, Jack. Now they know. Well, stick me in a jar and call me Dill. This is what I call a real fucking pickle. Hey, where's the other Jack? Shit. All right. What are we gonna do? It's simple. We lock this place down until we figure out who's got the nuts and who's got the bolts. Just you and I have and a me. feeling this scabber Nothing over personal. here can help us. You, come over Gotta here. I hope the next one dies clean. I was trying to sneak, but okay, sure. Where'd the other Jack go? Hey there. You know this man? Is what he's saying true? Is he a synth? Barely know the guy. No idea. I, I don't fucking... No idea. Wow, you're about as useful as tits on a bloat fly, aren't you? How know. about this? Why don't you interrogate them for me? I'll be standing here watching you do it. Now, I've got my own opinion, but let's see if we can't come to a consensus. What is this place, anyway? Nothing special, that's for sure. Just another Commonwealth shit stop run by Art and his auntie. Normally, I don't like stopping anywhere with more than one entry point. But Art assured me that lock couldn't be picked. I would kill him just on principle, but he ain't worth the ammo. And just who is this synth anyway? What do you know about him? Who, Jack? All I know is what I've heard. One day they say he just started acting different, all cold and unemotional like. Well, if that doesn't sound like a synth, I don't know what does. But then those same people started saying Jack went back to his normal self. Which got me thinking, maybe the two of them were working together. Working in shifts, more or less. But there was only one way to find out. So one day, I walked in his house, smacked him with the butt of my gun, and left a note for the other Jack. Wasn't sure if I was crazy, leaving a note for the guy I kidnapped. But seeing as there's a Tweedledee and Tweedledum here, I'd say my hunch was on the button. Who's your boss? Why are you doing this? Do I look like someone who works for anyone other than himself? I'm freelance, partner. Selling sense to anyone who'll take him. Railroad, institute, whoever. Can I buy it him? all comes down to who'll pay the most caps. In this case, it's a bunch of eggheads out west. Brotherhood. I don't have any more questions. Good. Then you can stop bothering me and start questioning them. You find out which one is the synth, then I take him to my handlers. Easy peasy, Japanesey. <laughs> but there's one condition. Don't hurt him. Not a scratch, you hear? The contract I have specifically states they're to be delivered undamaged. I honestly don't know what Ever to believe. Trust oh, it's sin. true, he's been acting different, but is he a synth? That just sounds so far-fetched. Maybe they're twin brothers. All right, we got Jack, we got his pelvis bone, we got Aunt Bobby Crane. Excuse me. Never, ever trust a synth. Okay, we got Aunt Patty. Hey. Sure, he's been acting a little strange lately, but a synth? That just seems so outlandish. Hey there. To be honest, I didn't believe it when he said Jack was a synth. But now? I mean, there's two of them. One of them has to be a fake, right? Um... Start from the beginning. What happened here? Diner was open, same as usual. Then Russell comes in with Jack, saying he's a synth, and we had to lock everything down. It wasn't long after before you two showed up, and you know the rest. What do you think we should do? Beats me. I've heard it since replacing people, but never moving in with them. Either they're both working for the Institute, or they're not. Probably not. But I need whatever information you've got. The Jack I knew as a kid was always a little weird. But he started to mellow out as he got older. I'm talking 16, 17 years old. Adult Jack's always been pretty normal, I guess, but... Maybe that just means the sense got to him young. Nothing else for now. Sure thing. Never, ever trust a synth. All right. Um. 
Hey there. It doesn't matter which one you ask. Jack and I will give you the same answer. But if you choose wrong, this bounty hunter will come back and finish what he started. Which means the best solution is to kill the hunter and let us go free. Probably. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Well, I'm not a synth, but I can't speak for Jack. He claims we're twins. Given he hasn't tried to replace me, I've chosen to believe him. Either way, you only have two options. Take Jack, or kill the bounty hunter. If you choose me, he'll come back for the other Jack once he finds out I'm human. Two Jacks. Ever, this is ever crazy. trust a synth. <clears throat> I already told you how you can help. You have a weapon. Use it. Hi. I think there's a way out of this, without anyone getting hurt. All right. A human, not sure. That empathy, you sound like some, uh... I can't tell if that's the human or the machine talking. I get what you're saying, but it seems like it's better to pay attention to the what rather than the who. Anyways, here's my plan. The bounty hunter said we're no good to him damaged, right? So what if we damaged ourselves? You shoot Jack, I shoot non-Jack, and no one has to die. Peace through violence. Just not too much violence. Or else. To be Never, perfectly honest, ever I don't think the Institute sin. really exists. Peace through it's violence. It's just wild rumors can, and nonsense. I can live with that. Uh, <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> oh, I can live with peace through violence. <laughs> now I just have to shoot you with a gun that won't fucking obliterate you into little fucking pieces. Oh my god, I don't have a gun that's not... Does anyone have a gun that's not really, really effective? Go on, hurt him, but make it a flesh wound. Kill him, and you'll probably just make me angry. I don't Never, know what to think anymore. Ever trust a synth. Hey. So, did I have the right guy all along? I still need some more time. To be perfectly yeah. honest, I don't think the Institute really exists. It's just wild rumors and nonsense. I heard now what the hell did you go and do that for? <laughs> did I not say explicitly the goods weren't to be damaged? Sorry. Come again? Uh, sorry? You say something? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> you know damn well what I just said. Now you're either gonna fix this or fix him. And unless you're some kind of genius institute scientist, that means you're gonna have to pay in caps. I'd say 400 is enough to make us square. Wow, you were gonna sell them for 400 fucking caps? There's an auction hall selling baseball gloves for more than that. Um, fine. Fine. Here's your caps. Good. Glad we could work this out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta find me another synth to take home. These two tweedle dumbs you can keep. Wait, you're gonna just ever. He's been asking ever. a little strange back for me. Like a synth? Sure. That's what that brothers do, so isn't it? But you could have carried on Jack's life by yourself. No one would have been the wiser. Not true. I would have known. And besides, I'm too lazy to do your job myself. <laughs> That's just about the only thing you've said that makes sense. Never. There's still one loose thread, though. Trust the people synth. here think one of us is a synth. As long as you stay the hell away from here, I don't care if you're a goddamn gorilla. Hey. See? We're good. So what now? We can't stay here. Doesn't matter to me. I go where you go. Everything went according to plan. I must be good at making them. Two brothers. When two brothers... I got nothing to say to you. Tell me more about Jack those... and I had an arrangement. We'd split the work and have twice the free time. Tell me about those gorillas. <clears throat> what now? You break it, you buy it. Tell me about those gorillas. Never, ever hey. trust I don't a know cent. what to think anymore. Honestly, I don't care who's a sin. I just don't want any trouble. I fucking murder this guy. Oh, I'm gonna go find another synth, even though you're clearly, you know, helping them both. What now? Even have your you didn't even have my caps on you dickhead gave you my caps for nothing I wasted 
perfectly good giant bullet for you. And there's floating ghoul. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. That was a pretty cool one. I like that one. I, I wonder if uh, if I had let good old I hate sense man go if he if there would have been another quest later where he's like I got another one I'm a dumbass. Sure to her to her. And I have to be like, look, dude, stop fucking doing this. I'm just gonna come and keep buying them off of you. And he's like, well, you might as well kill me. And then I'd have to kill him. All right, so I think there's someone in the third rail. I checked around the area around here, and there's nothing else. Thanks, Mr. Ham. Is his name always Ham? All right, so I have the third rail enhanced mod, so we gotta find... Jesus Christ. Huh? Shut up! Don't have no handouts. Everyone shut up! Is to kill or be That's killed? Freedom. Trying to find... Fi looking weapons. Ah, so... Who has a name? Who has a name? Who has a name? Who has a name? Cedric. <laughs> Magnolia. Cedric the Entertainer over here. Hey. Would not mind a strong drink. Okay. You, uh... Hello. Excuse me. How wonderful. Someone new. Yep, okay. Is it true you're from one of those vaults? I met a few of your kind once before back in DC. Charming people. Badly dressed, but charming all the same. My clothes are fine, that's me, not from vault. I wasn't there long. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Then consider yourself fortunate. You weren't exposed to their latest trends. Granted, being a popsicle doesn't sound all that fun either. About Good Neighbor, how'd you end up here? That's all for tell me uh, about Good Neighbor. Tell me more about Good Neighbor. Magnolia is a fine singer. She's really outgrown that stage. And by stage, I mean the development kind. Of course, the one she's standing on is rubbish too. How'd you end up here? I'm here on business. A man thinks I'm better off dead. I beg to differ. Right now, he's waiting for me in some dusty hideout with a full staff of gunners. I hope to match him gun for goon. Gun for goon. Tell me about yourself. What's your story? Oh, you don't want to ask that question, darling. When a woman's lived for over 200 years, they've been a great many people. I've been an heiress, a salvager, a mercenary, and a fool. That's four I things. I feel it's far better to be the latter of the four. It makes it easier to relate to the common man. Herba Derba. Uh, about good name, anything I can do. Anything I can do to help? Yes, there is. Perhaps you'd be interested in being my personal goon. Oh, no. Or gun, if you prefer. And in exchange, I will be yours. It doesn't matter who plays what role first. Just say the word and I'm right behind you. All right, looks like we got a companion. Tell me more about Good Neighbor. The ex-gunner, McCready. I actually met him once before. I doubt he remembers me, though. We mungos all look alike. Let's go. Our enemies are as good as dead, darling. Under the bridge. Take Audrey to the meetup. Can I trade? Hey. Yes, Our DJ sounds much happier these days. Let's hope no one reminds him where we are. As part of the deal, Barnaby and I will both carry holotapes with our half of the combination. I don't... What are you talking... Technically, for him, it's his last will and testament, since he's leaving everything to me. Okay, that's great. All right, I'm gonna buy Audrey some weapons. I'm sure she has, like, a pistol. <laughs> I've got a pistol. It's the foggiest goddamn day. It's been forever. What do, what do you... What, what do you have? Hey. If nothing else, I'll enjoy... Oh, wow. Okay, great. ...by hearing WRVR back on the radio. It's certainly better than the current offerings. Hey, Cleo. I hope you're buying... even a girl. I'll take a look, sure. Purchase of a ride. Sure. Ghoul mask. Hey, wear a ghoul mask. That's, uh, not degrading at all. 
we go. It's the hoarding. Okay, cool. At least we're going inside, I guess. We don't have to deal with the fog of the century. You ready? Oh, there's another house over there. Railroad H... Oh, wait, no, it's just Rob who sends. I think there's something at Railroad HQ as well. We should be careful. Family reunions in my house tend to start with bullets and end with blood. Of course, in between there's arguments, dancing, and champagne. To be honest, I'm not sure which is more dangerous. Probably the first one. Pro most likely the first one. Jesus. Well, let's see. It appears this isn't Barnaby at all. In fact, it's my older brother, Arthur. Hard to be sure, given he's a ghoul, but I can tell by the eyes. They're incredibly pretentious. We should search the body for a hollow tape. The letter said the combination would be on that. Ooh. I'm just gonna take these caps first. Okay, Arthur's hollow tape. Found it. Society itself. I take comfort knowing you'll be stuck forever in this awful, decrepit place. All right. We got the lotto numbers. Heads up. You've got my undivided attention. So that's why he insisted on hollow tapes. Even in death, Arthur found a way to get the last word. I love that about him as much as I despised everything else. But I am sad that he's gone. He was family, after all. Which means the infection I suffered in D.C. has yet to subside. Infection? Infection requires a doctor. Maybe you should find a doctor. I'm afraid modern medicine can't cure the disease of caring. Uh oh. Well, either that or the stim packs I've been using are defective. But I'm long past the days when I saw it as a sin. In any case, we need to find out who killed him and why. After what happened to my family, I can understand. Thank you. Although by no means do I want to compare scars. I venture mine are hardly worth mentioning compared to yours. At the very least, I'm sure your family spent their days not trying to kill each other, as opposed to 200 years doing the opposite. What do we do now? One thing we won't do is give up. If Arthur's dead, that means someone killed him, and that person had to have a motive. Granted, that list might be infinite, so it's best we start at the top. What do you think happened to him? If I had to venture a guess, I'd say this is Margaret's work. You can tell by the lasers and dead robots. And if Margaret's really alive, perhaps you'll want to work together. My sister would know this, of course. See if you can't find another clue somewhere. Hopefully with an address and directions. A clue? Search the station for clues. Oh boy. Oh, 
Found a photo. I don't know what the hell it says, but it's suspicious. Suspicions. Heads up. Yeah. I found this old photo. Ah, uh, I know the place in the picture. A pre-war cafe for dilettantes and socialites, and a post-war nightclub for hustlers and scabs. Old enough to feel safe, but new enough to be dangerous. That's my sister for you. One step ahead, with two left feet. Well, we shouldn't keep her waiting. Let's go. Let's kick some ass. Let's find some siblings. Don't mind us. Just trying to find your sister. Don't shoot. Here we are. The fresh kill, fresh grill. We got the best... Oh, Jesus! We got the best fish in all the Commonwealth. We're gonna get some fish and chips. It's gonna be great. Jesus. <laughs> Someone just fell. I can't see a goddamn thing, Jimmy. I'm going up the stairs. Cover me. Taking care of your dumb friends. I'm not wearing pants. Get over it. Get over it. Alright. Trem Tremont Street speakeasy. I guess there's some other dickhead out here. Whatever. And so here you are. This bar was a nice choice. Maudlin. But nice all the same. <laughs> You'd be amazed how little this neighborhood has changed. The bombs may have dropped, but the dirt is still here. Because you and don't you use brooms. You never want to avoid getting your hands dirty. In fact, you're looking much better than Arthur these days. Looking's not as good as having honey. It never is. I suppose the question is whether you want it all for yourself, or if you want to do this together. I do, actually. Then it's time you dropped this ruse. After all, you're far too nice to pass for my sister. You, on the other hand, with that disgruntled look, as if the world were too small and you had to slouch to fit inside it. That I recognize. You're as perceptive as ever, Audrey. And still a huge bitch. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Is this a new body? Well, new in the relative sense. I wasn't aware since came in vintage models. Why do you think I chose it? It helps sell the illusion. Not that I needed it. Arthur would never deign to make eye contact with the help. So, you've been working for him? Naturally. I let him collect the combination, then waited for my opportunity to take it. After all, our brother would never agree to working together. He'd call it surrendering to father's idealistic garbage. He also wouldn't trust either of us not to kill him. That too. In fact, I believe his favorite saying was, that isn't water under the bridge. Yes, I imagine it was something much thicker. Semen. And he was right, as it turns out. So, why not do the same to me? Because I've always liked you, Audrey. I couldn't stand to be around you, but that's not the same thing. And best of all, I know working together would piss our brother off to no end. All right. But if we're going to work together, my friend here is coming along. Hi. He's quite capable. I shot people. Still don't trust me, do you? All right, fine. Your friend can come. The two of you can meet me at the old summer estate. It's time to find out once and for all what legacy father left us. It's going to be a piece of shit. I'm letting you all know it's going to be a big piece of shit. <clears throat> Hi. Watch yourself around Audrey. She's not as smart as she sounds. Look alive. There was a time when the idea of friendships would feel outlandish. All right, guess but then I met someone in the capital wasteland who taught me to keep an open mind. 
So perhaps this little soiree is the start of something more. Soiree. All right, I'm guessing... Audrey. I don't remember an Audrey. Audrey from Fallout 4. Well, perhaps there was one. Either that or it was in a Takahashi's pre one of previous mods. Oh, it's snowing now. That's good. What's that? 